Hey guys, my name is Jennifer. If you are new here, I am 45 years old and I currently am doing the WW Blue Plan, which was formerly Weight Watchers. And I just wanted to chat today since it's the day after Thanksgiving about kind of getting back on track and the tools that I use to do that. Kind of how my Thanksgiving went and everything like that. So anyway, I'm just going to jump right into the video. If you are new here, thank you. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope that you enjoy it. If you haven't already, please click subscribe and like down below. It really helps support my channel and I'm trying to grow this channel. So the more likes and subscriptions and comments that I get, then the more the word gets out there. But anyway, I am here just to kind of help y'all and just to kind of take y'all along with my journey. At this point, I have lost 62 pounds since September of 2019 on this WW Blue Plan, which I started when it was freestyle. And then last year, they brought in three separate plans. For those of you that aren't aware, you can choose um, green, blue, or purple, just kind of depending on you know what you prefer if you want to track more or less food if you need to be more disciplined and have more points and track everything or if you're okay with eating a lot more zero point foods then you can do the purple plan and you really get less points a day but you know, there's a ton more free foods and then the blue plan which is the one right in the middle which is the one that I chose and the one that I've been the happiest with because I feel like it's the best of both worlds you know I get a lot of zero point foods they call them I mean I free foods they still have calories but there's zero points on the ww plan but anyway i specifically like the blue plan because if i went purple plan on purple you can get brown rice and potatoes and things like that for zero points and i could definitely go overboard with that easily and the green plan is almost a little too restrictive you know i like eggs and chicken and stuff like that and so those are zero points on the blue plan so that's kind of where I like to be right in the middle I feel like it's the best of both worlds like I said and I've been happy here I feel like I've kind of been a slow but consistent loser um, over the past uh, what year and two months I mean I've lost 62 pounds so that averages out really almost right around a pound a week you know some weeks have been up some weeks have been down but overall it has been a consistent loss so anyway, so yesterday was Thanksgiving Day. I did not track points at all. I didn't really worry about what I was eating. The only thing that I didn't eat or didn't try to eat too much of was stuff with sugar in it. I make homemade pecan pies, which I did put out a video showing my recipe, but I also made my little wontons, which are definitely Weight Watcher friendly, and I have a ton of them left over. So I'll probably eat on those all weekend um, until they're kind of gone and then I'll probably just be done with them by Sunday. I don't know. I'm not going to keep the food around that much longer, but those are just one point for the pumpkin pie wontons and two points for the pecan pie wontons. So they're really not that bad, but I do feel like, you know, eating them, it makes me want more of them. I don't know why, but anyway, so yeah, so yesterday on Thanksgiving, I just kind of went with it. We had two uh, meals that we had to do. I prepared a meal here at the house and one of my daughters and her boyfriend came and it was just us. I couldn't get anybody else to come. A lot of family members didn't want to come up because of COVID or, you know, they just wanted to stay home and just kind of do their own thing. So that was fine. And then I went over to my other daughter's house and her and her wife made um, a vegan meal for us. So I had one traditional Thanksgiving meal and then one vegan meal. And honestly, there really wasn't that much difference in either of those. We took some of our turkey to their house and I even forgot to put the turkey on my plate I didn't miss it I was pretty full by that time I did munch a lot on like some Chex Mix and stuff while we were playing games and then my daughter made like uh, her little version of wontons which was kind of neat it just used one wonton wrapper and she kind of folded it over into a triangle I'm not exactly sure what the filling what was all in the filling but I could definitely use my same pumpkin filling and make those and even make those um, lower in points because because then you would only have the one little wonton wrapper. You could probably have like two or three of those for one point, to be honest. Um, but they were pretty good. She put some coconut sugar on them, which I wouldn't use. But I did eat three of those while I was there because they were delicious. And then I snacked a lot on the Chex Mix. So I'm definitely feeling that bloat from that salty you know, food and the greasy food and stuff that I ate yesterday that I'm normally not used to eating. 
And, uh, you know, I said yesterday I was just going to eat whatever I wanted and then be done with all of the Thanksgiving food, and I am. My husband's in there right now preparing some leftovers for his lunch. I'm like, you know, whatever you don't want to eat, you just need to throw out. But he's piling his plate up and having a lot of food because... You know, he loves it. He's not on a weight loss journey. He does eat my Weight Watchers dinners, but really, I don't really consider them Weight Watchers dinners per se. It's just um, a healthy food that we cook for our evening meals, and that's what I'll have tonight. I don't know if he'll have his dinner or not, or if he'll eat more Thanksgiving food. You know, after two or three meals of it, you do kind of get tired of it, or at least I do. So anyway, so my number one tip for today is don't eat any leftovers. Just um, either throw them out, give them away. I tried to send as much stuff home with my daughter and stuff as I could. And um, then we took a few leftovers to my other daughter's house last night. And then what I didn't eat that Charlie wouldn't eat, we already threw out. Because there are certain things that he doesn't like. Cranberry sauce was the one thing that, I don't know why he didn't like cranberry sauce. It's delicious, but... Anyway, he was like, you want me to just throw this out? And so we just had like a couple of slices of it left that wasn't eaten. And I was like, yes, I'm not going to eat any more of it after Thursday. So, yeah, number one tip is not to eat any leftovers, which I know may be difficult. Um, my second tip would be to hydrate, to drink plenty of water today. So I have been drinking my water today, and I'm just going to continue that. Really, water's probably all I'm going to drink today after I had my coffee this morning. I'm just on water all day, and I do like to add crystal light to my water. I do not like to just sit around and drink plain water. Sometimes, if I really feel like I want to maybe not have the crystal light, I will put just some fresh lemon in my water. I just cannot really stand the taste, or I guess the non-taste, the plain water. Unless I'm working out, and then I drink plain water. Um, which I did not get up and do my workout this morning, but that's because our little granddaughter did come home with us. We were getting home late last night, and I did stay up until midnight to try to shop the Buff Bunny sale. I wanted one of the Game Changer backpacks that she had, and I did get that ordered because it was 25% off, you know, just to carry my laptop and stuff and have something cute back and forth to work, so... I got my Game Changer backpack, but the website was kind of slow, so it was nearly 1 o'clock before I went to sleep this morning, and then I set my alarm to get up at 8, because that's usually around the time that my granddaughter gets up, and um, we got her up about 8.30ish or so, because she stayed up until after 10.30 last night by the time that we got home from her house, and then of course she wanted to sit around for a few minutes, she didn't want to go straight to bed and stuff, so... Yeah, so she stayed up super late. She's only three, and she usually goes to bed between 8 and 9 o'clock. So, anyway, I forgot what I was saying. I got off track there, but hydrate was my second tip. Um, and then kind of talking about the exercise, I, I would say exercise today. I chose not to do my exercise this morning, but I am going to do my normal Friday workout tomorrow on Saturday morning since I didn't get a chance to do it this morning. When she's here, I just like to devote that time with her in the mornings and have some snuggle time and, you know, then cook her breakfast. And then it's a process for me to get ready and stuff like that. And then we did go ahead and put up her little Christmas tree in her bedroom. She's in there eating her lunch right now. My lunch is actually cooking in the oven. I'm having my typical, my pizza. So, um, yeah, the third tip would be to work out, but I am not working out today, but I will work out Saturday morning. I'll post it on my Instagram so that y'all see it for those of y'all that follow me in both places. And also, if you're not already, follow me on my Instagram account. I have that in the description box down below, but it is loving to lose the number two loving to lose underscore ww underscore gin and i like to post on there three or four times a day and i love that community as well as this youtube community and then my fourth tip would be to give yourself some grace to not beat yourself up over whatever your choices were yesterday you know whether or not that scale went up this morning i did weigh myself this morning and i was up about a pound and a half to two pounds but i know that it's just from that food being in my body and we'll see if some of it kind of goes away today tomorrow saturday is always my official weight watchers weigh-in and um so that's kind of the only time that I really plug my weight into the app, I do have a scale 
that I love that I got on Amazon and so I weigh on there every morning and then I can kind of track my progress easily on a daily basis so if it goes up just like a pound or two or something it doesn't really bother me especially if I know that I've eaten a lot of food like I did yesterday so I'd be curious to see if it comes back down in the morning just to where I can maintain from my weight last week is kind of my goal um, so yeah, so give yourself a little bit of grace. It's okay. It's just one day a year, you know, um, one day out of 365 days. And I'm sure a lot of people probably ate and ate and ate until, you know, they were passed out on the couch or whatever, which is great. I did take me a long two hour nap after we did all of the cooking and prepping and stuff for our lunch. I laid down, I, did, I had my nap and then I got up and I was ready to go for my second round at my daughter's house. So anyway, yeah, I would say to just give yourself some grace and then my fifth tip is just to jump right back into your normal routine. Um, you know, I got up this morning, I had my normal coffee. I'm not going to try to starve myself just because I know that I overate yesterday. I had my normal breakfast, my bacon and my two eggs with the egg whites and the diced peppers that I've shown a million times. It feels good for me to just have my normal foods. I'm having my pizza for lunch with my fruit and um, I haven't had any snacks yet today, mostly because I kind of slept in and we've been a little busy doing the Christmas decorations and just getting ready. But um, yeah, so I just plan to just jump right back into it today and you know, it'd be just like a normal Friday would be for me and to count my points and to watch my food. I'm gonna eat one of my prepared meals. I don't know if I'll eat, I, I have two left. I have the marry me chicken and then we made the um, firecracker turkey meatballs, which that video is probably coming out on Sunday, that meal prep video. Just with the holidays and everything, it's been hard for me to get all of my videos edited. This one I am going to try to get edited and put up today since it is the day after Thanksgiving. Just because I wanted to give you all some tips and some motivation um, on getting back on track and, you know, pushing forward. I know December is also going to be a hard month. December will probably be a harder month than November was because a lot of people have several different little mini Christmases that they do, whether it's at their job, you know, with their friends, with their families, or whatever. It seems like there's something that comes up almost every week, and I have to deal with that too at work, and sometimes I will participate you know, in the foods that we have, or I will just bring my own food and eat it. Everyone knows that I'm really specific and disciplined and try to just stick to my own food. So, you know, I just always say, you do you, let me do me, you know. So I just kind of like to do my own thing and I have found what works for me is really just eating the same foods consistently and um, that's what my body is used to at this point. So, um, yeah, that's my last tip, I guess, is just to get right back on your plan, get right back on track, don't let it go all weekend. It's a long weekend for a lot of people, and it is easy. If I went three or four days and just, you know, enjoyed Thanksgiving for this long four-day weekend, it would be definitely hard for me on Monday to get back on track. I would feel like I was starting over, and I don't like that feeling. So that's another reason that I really, and I know I've preached about discipline before, but if I do not use discipline in my life, I, it's, it's, a, it's a slippery slope. I will for sure fall right off the wagon easily for weeks and sometimes months. And, you know, I had done that before. If you've watched my weight loss story or any of my other little sit down chats, I've talked about the gaining and the losing of the weight over the years. And I don't want to let that happen to myself again. I guess that's it. That's all of my tips for the day. And I'm sure that it's nothing revolutionary or anything. I just wanted to be a little bit of motivation for y'all and let you know that you don't have to, um, you don't have to feel bad for whatever you ate yesterday. It was one day. It's done. It's gone. Forget about it and just move on and continue on with your plan and you'll be just fine. Your body will readjust after a day or two. That food will be gone and um, it'll be like it never happened, you know, so uh, I guess I'm going to end the video here. I love y'all guys and I hope that I can give y'all some good tips and advice and if you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. I love to read them. I love to interact with you. I love to meet new people. I've met a lot of people on this channel and again, um, 
my meal prep video will probably be out I think on Sunday is going to be the day which I think my last meal prep video came out on Sunday and um, Sunday is a better upload day than Saturday I think uh, a lot of people I know are going to be out shopping and stuff so even if I have it ready on Saturday it probably won't go up until Sunday morning but Anyway, I'm going to end right there. I love you. If you haven't already, please subscribe down below. Click that like button. Click that share button if you want to share with some of your friends. If uh, you feel like people uh, would like this content that I put out, I'm usually doing meal prep videos, what I eat in a day, some vlogging. Um, I am also filming, putting up some of our Christmas stuff today and just kind of like a little vlog day. So we'll see kind of what comes of that. And then grocery hauls. I always try to fill my grocery haul every week so that you can kind of see my process, you know, how I meal plan and then how I buy my food. And then I will go through and actually prepare the foods on my meal prep, which we always do on Sundays. But, okay, that's it. I'm going to stop rambling. And um, I hope that y'all had a great Thanksgiving. And I will talk to y'all in the next video. Thank you. you. You don't even know it. Straight away You don't have to be afraid